what are we? February the 10th, 2012. I got her jacked up on both sides. A little floor jack and secure. I'll show you what the problem is. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Won't even turn over. There's a jack on uh, uh, floor stain. Anyway, I don't really give a shit right now. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta get on the knee there. Which is another thing I don't like at all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Drop the friggin' illuminator, yeah. Get the illuminator up there. Okay. Take the starter off. I gotta take that bolt off. That's the shield. And that bolt off because the bloody starter that you're looking at at the end of the starter the shield covers the bolt but it doesn't cover the bolt ah oh, you it doesn't cover the bolt there so there's a bolt there and there's a bolt there and uh can't see nothing else. I don't think. Besides having a wet oil pan. That's great. Yeah. Good job, Sam. Yeah. So, that's my freaking chore. Get that wrench. Let's see if I can get those covers off. I doubt it. Hey you guys, well, it didn't warm up a whole lot, but it did a little bit um, while I was doing this uh, starter. So um, I couldn't film um, underneath the car there, there's barely any room. I just took it off the jacks, the stands, and I brought it back down, hooked up the battery. Um, no big news. I suppose I could. I don't even know if it's gonna work. It's supposed to work, but um, we'll see. Okay, so you're secured. I don't even know if it's gonna start. <laughs> That's. Uh, the keys inside yeah she's a balmy minus 24 yeah that's always good it's always always nice to work in this type of cold no no let's see if this is gonna fire up oh we got power everything is so stiff all right, as soon as you shut up there, fuel pump stopped, okay. Well, there goes. Oh, yeah. February 23rd, 20 friggin' 12. <laughs> yeah. Minus four. Snowing. Um, car is jacked up. Duh. Jacks off the floor. Yeah. And uh, she's jacked up and secured and blocked up and not going anywhere. I hope, in a way. 
That's not a pretty picture. I don't. I don't see any charred wires. I don't have the luminaire on me, do I? Yeah, I do. Get underneath that. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's what started it all, I guess. <laughs> New transmission lines. Um, it goes all the way up to the front here, up to the coolant return. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Well, I thought for sure I would see some... Uh, some burnt marks on those wires, but I don't. Uh, just adds to the mystery. Let's see if I can bring those down some more. First, I don't. I thought maybe a fusible link was burnt or something. Might have to test for that somehow. I don't know, I don't see, anyway, I could clean those up with a end of a knife or something. And anyway, she's, uh, definitely let the smoke out of the chip last night. That's pretty, pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad. So anyway, we managed to pull it out. Here's a, a sensor on the oil pan that you're looking at. I can't see what you're looking at, but anyway. And um, it's losing oil, obviously. So anyway, it's not the issue at hand right now. I don't know what to think. All I can do is clean up those connectors and uh, try to find some power to test the uh, the starter because uh, it uh, give it a couple of good cranks. Usually this thing starts up right away. Uh, a couple of good cranks. So we turned over maybe uh, once, twice, and almost three times, it completely stopped and cranked again. And then uh, everything stopped. And then at that point there, that's where all the smoke started. Exactly what happened, I don't know. I really don't, so uh, yeah, here we are, you know. Oh, watch, watch my light. Lighter, huh? Yeah, I ran out of fluid. Uh, yeah, yeah, awesome, awesome. February twenty fourth, twenty twelve. Here we are. Five degrees Celsius. Ah, oh, it's amazing. We had um, a good eight inch, eight inches, ten inches of snow there uh, last night. 
That was amazing. And, uh, well, here we are. We're still stuck at home. Yep. Supplies are running low. That's awesome. So, uh, the reason why I uh, started that I uh, replaced, uh, failed big time. I've been sat here on the porch since October, I'm thinking. At least October. So I thought I'd at least put the camera on and have a bit of a vlog, which is sipping on a coffee. I just finished cleaning the driveway. Removing the snow off the roof. And um, the shelters. The shed, the garage, and the barn. <laughs> so, can't fit that lighter in my pocket, me. Eh? <laughs> oh, that's what it is. Um, it all started with the. Um, I'll start up with the transmission. Uh, the lines broke. And they spilled this content. But luckily I was able to make it back home. Without causing too much harm. Speaking of harm. When the dealer. When the dealer um, took out the old transmission lines. And put in the new lines. Um, must have to shuffle some stuff around because uh, about a week after if even that well the car was in the shop for 8 days to get the transmission lines changed felt like 30 It felt like 30. And that was pretty scary. So anyway, um, they must have shuffled some stuff around, as I was saying, because the uh, two main feed wires that are intertwined this way, about this long, and about this thick, go into the starter. Not the wires from the battery. Uh, it's from the starter to the solenoid to the brushes. Was sheared off. I got there in the morning and tick, 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 and then nothing. I said, oh, battery's dead. So I charged up the battery and, oh, my back pain. So, charged up the battery, battery charged up, and put it back in, tried again, same thing. No tick, no. Would start. Nothing. Dead. So, jacked up the car and um, tried banging on it. That didn't help. So it's not jammed. It's like it's not getting power. So I took it off. As you see, the video. And, uh, well... A friend of mine said, uh, well, Reg, he said, I got a friend that's got uh, a 3.8 and he's got a spare starter. You want it? Duh. Yeah. So I um, made a deal with him. and So I'll give you 60 bucks now. And I'll give you a 90. A couple of weeks. Then they'll be paid off and everybody goes home and everybody's happy. So I gave him the starter that was in my car. And I took his buddy of mine put it in.
Thank you, Shislan. So Shislan put Paulo's starter in the car. Tried it. Worked all right. There was a bit of a noise in it, but worked all right. So I didn't think nothing of it. Wednesday night. Um, I think it was. I'm not even sure now. Anyway, Jonathan was away to see uh, his girlfriend. And wanted to get picked up. I said, no problem, I'll go get you. So I jumped in the car. And uh, it, start, it started to crank. And then it stopped abruptly. And then it started again. It started to turn again, and then it stopped, and then the whole front of the car filled up with smoke. Holy shoot, I said. Okay, I turned it off. At least I stopped cranking, anyway. I ran in the house, got the fire extinguisher out, but the car was in the back of the shelter all the way. So I wasn't able to use the fire extinguisher at that point. Um, so, uh, got the wife to come with me and we, uh, pushed it to where it's at. And, I uh, jacked it up and had a look to see what the heck happened. Couldn't see nothing. So the next morning, uh, I went underneath, removed the starter. Call my other friend, which is um, quite good there in mechanic work. Thanks again, Dennis. And um, he tested out with a pair of uh, booster cables to the battery, to that, blah, blah, blah. So that was sweet. He looked at me, he said, your starter's burnt, Reg. I said, burnt, it's just been rebuilt. So I was told anyway. Well, if it was, if it would have been rebuilt, I wouldn't be down right now. So anyway, my starter is done. It's completely done because usually when you put your battery tester on it, um, there's so much torque inside the uh, starter that it, you know, it won't stand still. You'll have to lock it in the vise. This one surely didn't do it. It turned as fast as uh, as the hour on the clock there. The minute. Yeah, that's about the speed of her. He said, that's done, done, done. He said, the brushes are burnt or the armature is screwed or something's funny with it anyway. Very best, I said. So here I am, um, we're walking, can't really go anywhere, uh, being in the country, you know, there's no public transportation here, there. <laughs> so, that's my story, yeah, it's kind of sad, scary too, because, um, what you use doesn't get replaced, you know. And if I want to go to uh, the closest town, either the Halsey, Camelton, to go to the Halsey is $22 for a taxi fare, one way. So let's say go to the Halsey, pick up, um, you know, 100 bucks worth of food. Um, I got to cut that by uh, half because I need the other half to come back home. To go and to come back home. So, yeah, it sucks. It really does. Yep. Think about that. You wanna go somewhere, you just jump in the car, start it and go. I can't. 
You know what? It's awesome. And look, I um, cleaned up the driveway. Well, there, I just pushed it with a shovel. Or I didn't clean it there. Because the dogs are always climbing on there. So we cleaned the driveway. And tonight we're expecting another 10 centimeters. And tomorrow we're expecting another 20 centimeters. Uh, so it's not good. At all. Oh, yeah, one thing that is good, okay, that's happening, that is nice and mild out there. It's really nice and milder. So, I mean, how often there can I sit there and, on the porch? <laughs> and um, enjoy a cup of coffee sitting on the porch outside. Yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to... I'm not going to do that, but I need some gas. I need some gas for the blower. Ah, chickadees. Love those birds. Awesome. So that's what's going on. It's a little bit on the, <laughs> a little bit weird. Uh, my mom come up this morning. Bless her heart. And uh, you guys are about to fall off the ladder here. Three step ladder. She come up. She lent uh, Sarah the car. Sarah brought her back home and then uh, she left to uh, get some food and I guess you're supposed to get me some gasoline I got some sitting on the on the trunk lid of the car there so I'm waiting for Sarah she asked me to go there but I said I gotta take the snow off the house the shelters the garage and the barn so I said uh, meaning after that I gotta you know take the blower and clean around it for the next storm curse melting which is a good thing and it was awesome taking the starter off because it was mild that day also but not quite as mild as today we were looking probably at plus one yesterday to the point of freezing rain to plus one. It wasn't bad. I'm covered up anyway, so you know, I just throw a plastic underneath the car, slide underneath, and take it off. There. It's going to be a bit of a chore to take it off there because it's sitting up on that axle stands there. So you got to lift it up there, pass that, lower the axle stands, and then bring it down. But it can be done, so thank God. But I'm just, story's getting a little sickening there. Starter, 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 you know. And I should have kept that starter of mine. Because the one he gave me there surely wasn't, you know, wasn't up to it at all. His buddy must have used it on his car there. I guess he had a... It's not a starter he needed. He needed a motor because his 3.8 was seized. So, you know, you try anything, right? <laughs> I'm thinking, can't be the starter? My God, I just got that. Yeah. Oh, well amazing day just amazing <laughs> Sarah should be coming along pretty soon oh 
yeah. But besides that, we're in good spirit. We're in good spirit. I keep telling myself there's people worse than I am. In worse shape. Worse scenario. So we can um, we can hold on to the end of the month. Um I'll get one. I'll get one from uh, either the part store in Dalhousie or the part store in Camelton somewhere. They got them at UAP for two fifty. They got them at Basque Auto Sales are for two hundred and seven with a two year warranty. And uh, Dennis was just reminding me yesterday. He said, "Call at Canadian Tire." He said, "You, you might have them there." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I'll try. So we called, and um, they got them there for two hundred and twenty-seven. Two hundred and twenty-seven dollars, uh, and it's a lifetime warranty. I'm not planning to keep that car a lifetime, but you know, maybe keep that car for a couple of more years. Oh, that's a nice burn, isn't it? me if I need to get myself lighter fluid. It'd be nice if Sarah, <laughs> if she can swing it. It's only a couple of dollars. Because this ain't working too good. I should have a freaking candle there. Light that. But anyway, that's what's going on. And um, <laughs> I'll keep you updated of what uh, basically uh, happened this winter. Because obviously now you're watching this and it's probably, uh, you know, April, May, or June. So, whatever. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now. <laughs>